First Warn 5 Weather with Matt Holliner. 642 this morning. Now, this is not current radar. I want to make that clear. We're not seeing this right now, but I want to show you what happened yesterday because if you were in the upper valley, you might not have known that it rained, but it certainly did in the lower valley. That's why we had that chance of rain in place. Notice the showers and storms that popped up starting around 1030 in the morning. Uh, they popped up uh, and mainly stayed in lower valley. What actually happened yesterday is the ridge held on just a little bit over the upper valley, a little bit more so uh, than anticipated, and that resulted in unfortunately another record record high in McAllen. It was 104 and keep in mind to put in perspective in the lower valley temperatures were only in the mid 90s because of those clouds, the rain that was around, but 104 in McAllen and that did break the old record of 102 set just last year. It was pretty hot last year too, but so far this year has proven to be breaking some of those 2017 records. It has been a hot start uh, to the summer months. Uh, can we keep the rain chance going? Uh, I think we will, uh, at least in the short term. Uh, it, uh, this afternoon, uh, again, I think there's going to be some showers and storms around. You notice the green that's in our vicinity, uh, so that's that's a good sign. Again, the ridge has shifted off to the west and isn't as strong as it was, uh, so that's allowing for these sea breeze showers and storms to fire up. Uh, let's jump ahead to Saturday afternoon. I actually think the chance of rain tomorrow is going to be our best chance over the next seven days. It looks like the ridge will be in just the right spot and just weak enough that we'll have even more sea breeze showers and storms. Now, still not a guarantee you're going to see rain. It's still only about 30% chance of rain, but uh, that's better than no chance of rain. Uh, go ahead uh, on to Sunday afternoon. It's still a little bit of green, uh, about a 10% chance of some sea breeze shower storms. Now, on Monday, the ridge is going to strengthen a little bit, and I think that's going to keep us rain free for Monday. Jump ahead to Tuesday afternoon, same thing. The ridge is still going to be close by, and I think it's going to keep us rain free. But if we go on to Wednesday now, notice how the green starts to return a little bit. I think the sea breeze will return. Again, this ridge kind of weakens and shifts around a little bit, and when it's far enough away, when it's weak enough, we can see these sea breeze showers and storms because there's plenty of humidity. Uh, and hopefully this will continue. We need to get as many of these small rain chances as we can get because eventually that ridge will shift back over us, will strengthen, and then it'll be back to that record heat. That will probably come uh, later on this summer. 96 is going to be our high temperature today, mostly to partly cloudy skies, depending on how close that rain gets to you. And overall, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. So yes, there's still going to be a lot of people that are going to miss out, but some are going to get lucky and are going to see some rain today. A typical breeze for this time of year. It's going to die down uh, to 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. Mostly clear skies during the evening hours, so dinner plans looking good if you have any Friday night dinner plans. 77 will be our low tonight. Late tonight, too, we're going to get uh, those clouds to build back in. Let's talk about the beach forecast for this weekend. Saturday and Sunday, I think it's going to be 87 and 88 out at the island. A few more clouds and a little bit better rain chance on Saturday. We're going to go with isolated showers and storms. Now, I still would not cancel your beach plans. It's just be aware that if you see some lightning, go ahead and get out of the water, head inside for a little while, but then the rain will pass. These tend to be kind of short lived showers and storms, and you can go right back out to enjoying the beach. Uh, the chance of rain, if you're, if you're really wanting to make uh, pick a day to go to the beach, I'd say Sunday is looking a little bit better. The chance of rain is smaller, only about a 10% chance compared to a 30% chance. A moderate rip current risk on Sunday, that means there could be a few rip currents, but it's not a high risk. So it, it isn't anything that you should stay out of the water for. Just be aware there could be some rip currents. Temperatures stay in the mid 90s and as I mentioned the rain chance temporarily goes away from Monday Tuesday but returns for Wednesday and Thursday.